Greetings folks and welcome back to the woods and as promised for the last video I'm going to show you my new parang and I'm going to light the fire with it. The Ben Orford Iban Parang in ABL 3.2mm thick. Now you might know I've already got one of these in carbon but that's 4mm thick and there's a surprising weight difference in it so I'd like to see now today how this performs I'll tell you about the knife <coughs> so it's a full size parang from Ben Orford and it has a dual grind it has a Scandi grind next to the handle and we've got a Piece here which is rounded off to choke up on and we've got a scandy grind for about two inches and then it transitions into a convex grind mm -hmm. we've also got a section of sharp spine now the other one was differentially heat treated I'm assuming this one isn't and Ben will correct me but I'm assuming it isn't as it's ABL and we've got this sharp se section here for ferro rods and for scraping tinder. The rest of it is rounded and that's rounded obviously. Comes in a green kydex sheath and I've added a ferro rod loop and I have changed the hanger. Being a short fella I don't like them hanging around in my down by my knees so I've added a cross draw belt hanger to it it's a lot easier to pull out and it doesn't hang around and bash against everything time to light the fire now it is nice and dry today and I gathered some twigs on the way in and a piece of wood a dead branch bark peeling off it and I'm hoping I'm going to get some curls and some scrapings off it. Fingers crossed it's not wet inside because this is my plan for fire lighting today. plenty of nice dry sticks and this is the fingers crossed dry piece I've cut it to a manageable length now so I can stand up and scrape and shave bits off it. Dry.
this is really difficult to shave and I'm looking at it I'm looking at the green and I'm pretty sure it's oak it's either oak or beech both of which are a pain to shave I think I've got enough shavings but I'll make a few more I got a hat full of shavings and I got a small bundle of scrapings and they're all in the sun now what I've also got to add to my shavings is this peeling back off this beach and this does have oils in it that will help the shavings unfortunately that piece that piece of timber I used was a bit too gnarly I could have gone and looked for some hazel which would have been an absolute dawdle but I said I was going to use that so I'd carry on using it I'm going to put my scrapings on there, make a little hole and when these are lit I'm going to drop them in and then I'll pull all these twigs forward. Now which technique shall I use? Shall I pull the ferro rod on the bottom or pull the ferro rod on the top? Let's try pulling it on the top. And it's gone out. Oh well. There we go, fire with the Ben Orford Iban Parang. Now you probably noticed I could have done that a lot easier with a different choice of wood, but I wanted to do it in the same way that you'd light the fire in the jungle. So big shavings and scrapings. Jungle's wet, you need to get into the wood. So that's why I did it that way. I could have just made a nice little feather stick and stuck it in there, but I wanted to do it a bit different. So yes, worked well. Doesn't chop as well as the carbon one with the extra weight. I did find that and I haven't split anything with it yet. But yes, it is nice. I do like it. And I'd like to cut some green wood with it, get the whippiness going. Right, this fire now is roaring, so I need to get my kettle on. One thing I wanted to add about this parang. 
obviously that wood was tough so it really didn't want to chop very well it was bouncing off lack of weight it is very sharp so that's not a problem but what I want to talk about is battening I don't think I'd be happy battening through a big gnarly round with that at only 3.2 mil thick so I think for using it in this sort of environment for battening would probably be a no-no you know something like that's fine even like that but if you had something big I wouldn't do it I think if you pair it up with uh, Uncle Dave's wedgie you're on a winner because these are great so just wanted to add that I wouldn't the other one yeah I don't mind doing it because it's thicker and it's differentially heat treated but yeah I wouldn't go hell for leather battening that through a big gnarly log just saying right so I think what I'll do now I'll make a proper feather stick with it and see how it performs now I have done this I have made about five of it at the show but now I'm in the woods it's different I have a nice piece of Douglas fir Right, we'll try it freehand method first and then uh, if it's no good I'll switch to the knee method. Well, not bad, but I am feeling a bit of wobble because of the length of it, so I'm going to switch to the knee method. With the knee method and everything's nice, nice and sturdy, we'll get better curls. I could also pull the stick, that's another, we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll pull the stick and see how that works. Much the same, really. Yes, far better using the knee method and you can angle the stick to get the curls going which side you want to make a nice big bundle rather than just some at the front yeah a lot better now the funny thing is when I reviewed the other one I found the best curls I made was with the tip not with this one I'm finding it better in this area so whether the other one had been sharpened by the previous owner and put a different sort of edge on things that may come to play but this is stock as it comes from Ben there we are so I got some nice little curls there I think I'm going to get the ferro rod out now and try the standing up ferro rod and feather stick technique. Now I do find this technique a lot better with a softer rod like the Uberlieben or the Forest Fundamentals. 
but I am a big fan of the Light My Fire because I like to try and get things done in one big spark. That's just me, that's how I've done it for years. But I'll try it now with this. Cool in the gang. Right, so I think that's fairer on fire lighting covered. Done it two ways, that's great. Now, a little bit of carving. I've got this stick and I cut a chunk off this a few weeks ago to make a handle for my wedgie. And this has just been sitting here against the tree. So it's probably quite seasoned now. I may cut into it and find it's green, but we'll see. And I'm going to cut a few notches in this because my tripod, the hanger on it isn't adjustable. So I'm going to make one hook at the bottom on the thickest part to hold the kettle and then probably about three at, you know, three inch intervals for adjustment. Because I'm opening the legs up on the tripod and sometimes to get it close to the fire, when the fire's gone down, them legs are quite wide. So yes, we need an adjustment, an adjustable hanger. Bites in nice. Another quick way to put notches in it, as you probably know, is to batten it, put it there, give it a little tap, put the other way, give it a tap, but I'm going to carve it. That was so easy with a slicey grind, it was an absolute pleasure to do. Right, I'm going to carve a few more in there now. There we are, kettle's back on for another cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed playing with my new parang. It was great, apart from the fact she bit me. That's my own fault. I started to creep up the blade while I was carving. That's only a little cut. Right, well, the parang performed great. Makes great feather sticks, scrapes, carves, does exactly what I want. 
as I said earlier though, I don't think I'd batten something big and nasty with it. But apart from that, it's great. Hopefully, get out sometime and cut a bit of green wood with it. Because that's what it's for really, is, you know, whippy, whippy cuts. That's, that's what I want to do with it. Yes, I'm bleeding all over the place now. Right, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your views, and I certainly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so, it does help. Until next time, ta-ra. Kettle's back on with my new adjustable pot hanger. Right, thank you very much for, well, start that again. We will start that again. Green wood, it'll come into its own. The bastard bit me, but apart from that, everything's cool. Right, thanks for watching.